Hello children I hope you are all happy and safe welcome to this special english hour here every day we will learn something new in a fun and interesting way to have fun then come let's begin our day with a quick tongue twister so children now we will be saying a tongue twister Do you know what a tongue twister is? Come, let's say a tongue twister together three times. Four furious friends fought for the phone. Four furious friends fought for the phone. Four furious friends fought for the phone. Now do you know why it's called a tongue twister? Okay children now we all have to say this tongue twister five times and we have to go faster okay let's start four furious friends fought for the phone 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 were you able to say it without making a mistake so children when i began learning this tongue twister it took me years to get it right i hope you enjoyed the tongue twister and will also share it with your friends children while learning a language it is very important that we keep learning new words now I would like to give you a set of new words. I request you to please note them down in your notebook and listen to me carefully. While we'll read the passage today, you will come across these words. Please try to guess their meaning. The first word is pebbles. Pebbles pebbles the second word is cluster 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 the third word is flutter 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 The fourth word is splash 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 The fifth word is brink 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 So children I hope you took a note of these words Let me repeat it once again for you. Pebbles, cluster, brink, flutter, splash. Children, please look out for these words in the passage that we are going to read. Also try to guess their meaning. Children, now that we have spoken so much about animals and their homes their habitat come let's read a wonderful poem together please open page number 38 of your textbooks we will be reading the poem bird bath if you have a textbook please point to the words as i read if you don't have a textbook please look at your tv screens and listen to me carefully children please look out for the new words that i had made you note 
Come, let's read the poem together. In our garden, we have made such a pretty little pool. Lined with pebbles, neatly laid, filled with water, clean and cool. So children, the poet talks about how they have created a little pool in their garden. In this pool, they have lined pebbles. Pebbles are smooth little stones. They are usually found at the beds of rivers or lakes. The pond is neatly lined up with pebbles and there is clean and cool water that is put into it. Who is this little pond for? This little pond is for birds. When the sun shines warm and high, robins cluster round its brink. Never one comes flying by, but will flutter down to drink. The poet says that when the sun is high up in the sky and the weather is warm, robins cluster around the pool. Cluster means to come together. They sit on the brink of the pool. Brink means the edge of the pool. Robins otherwise don't come nearby. But when it is hot and there is cool water to drink at the pool, they come fluttering by. To flutter is to move one's wings quickly. Then they splash and splash and splash, spattering little showers bright all around till off they flash, singing sweetly their delight. The robins flutter their wings and splash water from the pool in all directions. There are little drops that shine in the light. Robins love the cool water of the pool. And after drinking it, they sing sweetly and fly away. Bird bath. Children, I hope you all like this poem. Here, the poet talks about how she made a small pool in her garden. She decorated it with pebbles. This pool was especially to invite birds to it. Little robins that usually flew past her house made a stop at the pool. They drank the cool water of the pool and fluttered their wings there. They took a bath in that pool and enjoyed themselves. They sang sweetly and left with delight. The poet shares her love for nature and how she created a small pool just to invite birds to come and take a sip of water. She feels happy looking at the robins. Children, can you also think of such simple ideas to help birds and animals around you? It's now time to sit back and relax while I tell you a wonderful story. Today, we spoke a lot about animals, their likes, dislikes and their habitat, their home. Just like animals, even we all have our homes which are very dear to us. We find ourselves cozy and we feel warm at home. All our favorite things are usually found at home. That is why 
we like it when we are home don't we now just like us there is a hermit crab named millie millie is on the look for her home would you like to know her story then come let me read to you a suitable shell written by radha rangrajan Millie is a hermit crab. She woke up one morning and fell straight into the sand. Millie looked up. She saw that the sun was up in the sky like it was every day. But today Millie was feeling hot and she was also feeling much lighter milly wondered why oh no milly had lost her orange shell that fit her so perfectly well milly had no time to lose she had to find her new home her new shell otherwise it would get hotter by the day and some bird would gobble her up so milly set out to look for her new home for a new shell milly found a black shell she tried to snuggle her way into the shell but there came a voice go away i am still in here i want to sleep said an angry snail milly moved away from there and went to the beach then milly saw a blue shell she tried to fit it on her head but then milly realized that it was just the cap of a plastic bottle the bottle too was just lying there on the beach milly thought no this won't fit me right then milly saw a yellow shell she tried to fit herself into it but then she realized that it was a lemon that was cut and squeezed entirely milly wondered how can i live in a lemon then milly saw a white shell she ran into it and tried to fit herself into it but then milly realized that it was the shell of an egg the yolk of it was already eaten and now this shell too would crumble in a while milly moaned then milly saw a purple shell and she ran to it she again tried to fit herself inside it but then she realized it was just the wrapper of a chocolate the chocolate was already eaten and the wrapper was just lying there she sighed thinking oh i thought it was a shiny shell milly then saw a pink shell she ran to it but then she realized it was a toe of a man and it moved milly thought to herself that oh maybe i tickled him then milly saw something brown she ran up to it but then realized they were just ground nut shells they had already been snacked on she mumbled that oh 
these will just fly away with the wind. In her search for a shell, Millie then found a broken bulb, a wafer packet and a rusty button. Millie just wondered, why are there no suitable shells on this beach? Millie then met with her friend Toya. Toya found a new shell for herself and she left her old shell away. Toya was happy with her new shell. Millie tried to fit into the old green shell Toya had left behind. It fit her perfectly well. Millie was very happy that she had finally found her shell, her home. Millie is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs don't have their own shell. They take shells of snails. Over a period of time, the shell that they wear becomes tight as they grow. So they have to let go their old shell and find a new one. Millie too goes in search of a new shell. But because of all the waste that she finds on the beach, covers of the bottle, rusty old buttons, packets of chocolate and wafers, she is not able to find a shell. Finally, at the end, after a lot of search, Millie is able to find her shell. If we want to care about creatures and animals, we must make sure to keep even our beaches clean. Children, I hope you all enjoyed the story of Millie the Hermit Crab. Children, would you like to write your own story? Then come, let me show you how we can write our own story. There are a few components very important to bring together a wonderful story. Come, let me share them with you. Children, come, let us read how can we write our own story. Let's first begin with characters. We will need a character for our story. Here is a list of characters given to us. Magician, schoolgirl, schoolboy, mouse, thief, soldier, farmer, dinosaur, merchant, king or queen, dog, scientist, a superhero, robot, detective, neighbor, elf, acrobat, pilot, hawker. After finalizing the character of our story, we will also need characteristics. Characteristics are adjectives, words that will help us describe our character. Characteristics Brave Coward Wicked Kind Weak Bullying Nosy Forgetful Very intelligent Scholar Talkative Silly 
lie, honest, cunning, loyal, rash, helpful, selfish, strong. After thinking about our characters and their characteristics, what we also must think about is the story type. Is it a fairy tale, fantasy, mystery, adventure, ordinary, success story, funny, science fiction, tragic, play? Next, we need to think of time. To which time does this story belong? In the time of the caveman, once upon a time, 1000 to 500 years ago, 20 years ago, now, 20 years from now, 200 years from now, when dinosaurs lived on the earth. It can be a story of the distant past or the future. Places Is the story based in your city, town or village? On another planet, in a faraway land, in a desert, in the forest, in a hill fort, on an island, in a big city, in space, in a small kingdom. So children, we just learnt about the important elements to write a story. We also read a story, a suitable shape. Come, let's try to understand if this story had all the components of making a wonderful story. Whenever we write a story, what do we need to think of? We need to think of the characters, the characteristics, the story type, the time and the places. So, in this story, a suitable shell, there is one character of the hermit crab, Millie. What are the characteristics? Her characteristics are that she is very smart and she is very curious. What is the story type? The story type is of adventure. Millie has lots of adventures by the time she finally finds her suitable shell. Time of story. The story is placed in the current times, it is placed now. It is during these times that we find that oceans and sea coasts are polluted with a lot of garbage. And how Millie finds it so difficult to find her shell. Places. Where is this story placed? This story is placed on an island. It is near a sea coast. Children, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. Children, till we meet next time. Please take care. Bye bye and stay safe.